our first stop takes us back to the inaugural year of the Kennedy Half Dollar, 1964. Among the treasures of this year is the 1964 D50C quadruple die obverse error. This unique error occurs when the coin is struck with misaligned dies, resulting in a quadrupled image on the obverse side. The quadrupling is most obvious on the U of Trust and on the right side of the 4 in the date. This variety is known as FS105, or the old FS013.6, according to the Cherry Picker's Guide. This MS65 specimen was sold for $492. 1915 D. Lincoln Cent MS67 Red. Our final spotlight is on the 1915 Lincoln Cent. Minted in Denver, this cent, in MS67 Red, is a testament to its rarity and condition. Finding a coin from 1915 in such a high grade is like discovering a numismatic time capsule. Hold on to this piece of history. David Longy wrote in his complete guide to Lincoln cents, as the population figures suggest, it, the 1915D, is readily available in all degrees of color, although few of the red or red slash brown coins are true gems. Similarly, Bowers noted in his guide book of Lincoln cents, mint state coins are seen with frequency in the marketplace, but gems with original color, no spots, and sharply struck are rare. This MS67 red gem was sold for $43,200. 1911 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR66 Brown by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1911 Matt Proof Lincoln Cent has a very low mintage of 1725. However, there are several other dates with lower mintages such as the 1909 VDB, 1914, 1915 and 1916 Proof all with mintages under 1,400 coins struck. The only other dates with a higher mintage are the 1909, 1910, 1912 and 1913 but even then, the highest of these only has a mintage of 4,118. Therefore, all matte proof Lincoln cents are scarce. This PR66 brown specimen ended up selling for $1,260, 1909 SVDB cent. Now, let's talk about the 1909's VDB cent graded in mint state 65 plus red and brown by NGC. This scent, bearing the initials of its designer, Victor David Brenner, is a treasure in itself. A grade of MS 65 plus and the red and brown designation make it not just a scent but a numismatic masterpiece. Keep this one close, it's a piece of history. Golden luster lies beneath original chestnut brown toning that forms a wood grain pattern over each side. The strike is sharp, and needless to say, I appeal is outstanding. It was sold for $4,320 on December 15, 2023. 1949 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus red by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, this spot-free superb gem red 1949 Lincoln Cent ranks as one of the finest pieces certified in the red category. The strike is sharp, complementing pristine satin luster and original copper red and golden tinged hues. I appeal is excellent. It was sold for $1,980. 1954's Roosevelt Dime with no JS. Our journey begins with the 1954's Roosevelt Dime. What makes this coin extraordinary is the absence of the JS- the initials of its designer, John Sinek. The missing initials add a layer of rarity, making this dime a coveted find among collectors. If you have one, hold on tight, it's a keeper. This MS65 specimen with full bands on the torch, ended up selling for $109.12 with buyer's fee. 1943 Washington Quarter, toned. Now, on to a wartime treasure, the 1943 Washington Quarter. Already rare due to its silver content during World War II, if you happen to have one with a toned appearance and a grade of MS-68, you've struck numismatic gold. Toned and graded high, it's a winning combination. The design elements are generally well impressed on this one. Lustrous surfaces are impeccably well preserved and yield stunning eye appeal, aptly recognized by CAC. The collector seeking colorfully toned coins highly appreciates such specimens. This MS-68 gem ended up selling for $10,281.25. 1960 D Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark D over D and double date small over large date. The double date, the result of hub doubling, is plainly visible under magnification. The mint mark D was punched onto the coin die more than once, resulting in a visible repunching or doubling of the mint mark. The initial mint mark placement was punched slightly off center, and a second impression of the mint mark was made, creating a distinct variety. It was sold for $1,463.62 with buyer's fee. We have the 1964 Washington Quarter with a double die obverse. This rare variety resulted from a unique minting process, leaving visible doubling on modern and God we trust. Check your collection for this doubling effect, 
it could turn your quarter into a true numismatic treasure. This MS-65 specimen ended up selling for $450 with buyer's fee. 1983 cent double die obverse. The doubling on the date and lettering is a distinctive feature of this coin. Coupled with a grade of MS-67 red, it becomes a rare and valuable addition to any collection. This one ended up selling for $12,436.88 with buyer's fee. 2011 P. Jefferson Nickel. Moving on to the 2011 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS-68 full steps. The high mint state grade and the presence of full steps on Monticello's reverse make this nickel a standout. Quality matters in numismatics, and a high-grade coin with full steps is a true find for any collector. This modern gem fetched a sum of $1,730.25 with buyer's fee. 1982 D. Small date cent. Let's talk about a transitional year, 1982, and specifically, the small date cent. In the world of numismatics, transitions matter, and the small date variety is less common, making it a hidden gem for collectors. Keep an eye out for this subtle yet significant difference. According to PCGS, the 1982 P small date copper Lincoln cent is one of the most difficult memorial cents to find in high grade condition. They are scarce even in MS64 and MS65 grades. It is one of the most difficult varieties to find in high grade out of all seven different varieties of this date. In MS66 grade and higher, they are extremely difficult to find. This MS68 superb gem was sold for $1,405.12 with buyer's fee. 1972 D. Eisenhower dollar. Graded in mint state 67 by PCGS. Lovely ice blue toning is accentuated by hints of champagne on each side of this superb gem registry coin, while a thin sliver of rainbow color appears along the lower reverse rim. The strike is lacking sharpness on the eagle and the finer hair details of the obverse portrait, with a few faint roller lines, as struck, evident in its place. It was sold for $7,931.25. Attractively toned 1963 Franklin half dollar. Graded in mint state 66 plus by PCGS. A registry grade example of this final year Denver issue, showing vivid sun orange, amber, violet, and ocean blue toning over each side. The strike is sharp and original, frosty luster dazzles the eye. Reverse side comes with full bell lines. It ended up selling for $7,200. 1967 Lincoln sent in mint state 67 red. Bright, satiny surfaces are awash in fully original light orange luster. With nary a distracting abrasion or other blemish in evidence, the eye appeal and technical quality are perfectly matched for this superb gem. It was sold for $4,025. 1982 P. Kennedy Half Dollar Missing Initials of Engraver, widely known as No FG Half Dollar. The missing initials are a result of dye polishing or excessive dye wear, leading to the erasure of the engraver's initials. These coins are considered mint errors and are popular among collectors. While not extremely rare, they are sought after by numismatists due to their unique nature. The value of the no FG variety can vary depending on factors such as the coin's condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. This MS-66 specimen ended up selling for $381.88. 1922 D. Lincoln sent with weak D. Graded in mint state 64 read by PCGS and proven by CAC. 1922 no D cents in full mint red are virtually unheard of, and may require a second mortgage to purchase. While the 1922 D weak D is also rare with full red color, it is far more affordable. A beautiful honey gold near gem, nearly unabraded although a few minute carbon flecks are evident. The reverse displays a good strike, while the obverse is blurry, as is customary for the issue. The mint mark and Lincoln's shoulder are as struck from an overused obverse die. It was sold for $7,200. 1937 D. Lincoln sent in mint state 68 red. This Denver issue is readily available in any red grade through MS 67, but the current MS 68 red piece stands apart from the majority. Luminous, spotless, and unabraded copper orange and reddish surfaces display outstanding eye appeal amid boldly struck devices. It was sold for $10,800. 1963 D. Washington quarter. Graded in mint state 67 by PCGS. Exquisite toning is the hallmark of this beautiful superb gem. Waves of lime green, crimson, magenta and green gray flow across each side, as splendid full luster illuminates the rainbow of colors. Lustrous and beautiful with a bold strike. Only minor contact on the right obverse field precludes perfection. It was sold for $16,100. Moving on with 1977 D. Kennedy half dollar struck on a 40% silver planchet. The standard weight of a silver clad half is 11.50 grams, 
and the expected weight of a copper nickel clad half is 11.34 grams. The San Francisco Mint struck silver clad bicentennial halves, and several such planchets somehow ended up at the Denver Mint between 1977 D dies, making them the final 40% silver alloy half dollars. According to Heritage Auctions, the present example has a visible edge that confirms the absence of a copper core. Lightly toned and lustrous with pleasing surfaces and minor peripheral incompleteness of strike. This AU58 specimen ended up selling for $6,600. 1916 Proof Lincoln Scent. Graded as PR67 Red and Brown by PCGS. The 1916 boasts the lowest mintage of the matte proof Lincoln scents after the ultra-low 1909 VDB issue. Many of the 1,050 pieces struck have not survived, and any superb gem 1916 proof is a rarity, regardless of color designation. Broad, squared rims and matte luster characterize this piece. It is sharp, and the deep amber-orange patina is mostly uniform across each side. It ended up selling for $13,200. 1964 Lincoln Scent from Special Mint Set. Widely known as SMS Scent among professional collectors. Graded in Mint State 66 Red by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez from Grading Service, there are many different theories on why the 1964 SMS coins were produced. These coins could have been produced as prototypes for the 1965-1967 SMS coins. The 1964 SMS coins could have also been produced as introductory pieces, possibly even intended to include a 1,964 D piece dollar. Furthermore, it is believed these SMS coins came into existence somehow through the involvement of Eva Adams, U.S. Mint Director at the time. After Eva Adams passed away, her estate was sold off and well-recognized dealer and auctioneer Lester Merkin purchased many of the coins from her estate. Lester Merkin's collection was then sold in a stacks auction in the early 1990s, including some, if not all, of the known 1964 SMS coins. This MS-66 red specimen with satin finish was sold for $7,187.50. 1910 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus read by PCGS and proven by CAC. A mintage of 6 million cents was fairly typical for San Francisco in the early teens, though it would prove to be small in comparison to this coin series overall. Worn examples are fairly plentiful, though this coin becomes somewhat scarce in the higher circulated grades. Mint State pieces are much more plentiful than this mintage would suggest, due to a hoard that was distributed in the 1980s. Many choice and gem fully read pieces were obtained from that source, as the census data reveal. This highly sought-after specimen was sold for $73,135.12 with buyer's fee. 1999 P. Kennedy half-dollar struck on a copper core and no outer clad layers. Since 1971, Kennedy have struck for commerce have two outer layers of 75% copper and 25% nickel, surrounding a 100% copper core. Rarely, one side of a Kennedy half will be missing one of its clad layers. The error occurs when blanks are cut from the start or end of a clad coinage strip, and one or both ends have a protruding middle copper layer. It is extremely rare for both clad layers to be absent. One diagnostic for such an error is that the peripheries will be softly struck, since the planchet is insufficiently thick to fill the die chamber. This rare specimen was sold for $5,280. 1962 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, this is an incredible-looking 1962 D quarter with different toning palettes on each side. The obverse features emerald green, fire red, sunset orange, and pale gold, while the reverse exhibits pale orange and mint green near the periphery with a considerable area of untoned silver white remaining. The obverse appears completely free of mentionable contact, while the reverse shows three marks in the lower tail feathers and the wreath below. It was sold for $7,637.50. 1966 Kennedy half dollar struck on a Washington quarter. Graded in Mint State 65 by NGC. Washington faces south relative to Kennedy's portrait. Portions of In God We Trust from the Undertype are readable on Kennedy's neck. The lightly toned surfaces show minimal marks. It was sold for $3,600. Number 1. 1964 D. Jefferson Nickel with Repunched Mint Mark D over D. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. This cherry picker's variety shows the mint mark repunched south. The repunching is clear with a loop but may escape detection by the unaided eye. Each side is brilliant and satiny, with slight reflectivity discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome. Although the steps of Monticello exhibit the typical softness, this coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. It was sold for $19,800. 
1971 S. Proof Kennedy half dollar with obverse retained die break, struck in a piece of a die. According to Heritage Auctions, this proof Kennedy half dollar exhibits a sizable retained die break that extends along the obverse border from the 7 in the date to halfway between the Y in Liberty and the second T in Trust. The break extends into the coin to half of the R in Trust, and encompasses the second one in the date. A lower relief extension of the break exhibits a curved border. A fairly sizable piece of a die, gray with a granular texture, is struck into the top of Kennedy's head, between the B and R in Liberty. A much smaller triangular die fragment is struck into the obverse margin at 1030. It was sold for $2,640. 1979 S. Susan B. Anthony dollar struck on a cent planchet. Graded as MS64 read by PCGS. Both sides of this spectacular error show satiny light orange luster, with splashes of deeper orange and gold toning. Some design definition is indistinct, due to the thinness of the cent planchet. It was sold for $7,475.